what's up guys welcome back or to the channel today we're out here and we've got the Jeep we've got the JK we've also got the CRV with some new meats on it it's got some KO2s and he is getting a lift soon but he's still waiting on a couple parts it's not that easy to find lift parts for a CRV at least not readily available so we're still working on that and the Burgundy TJ the Sendmobile still waiting for a fender and you guys know why this is on if you watched the last few videos but if you didn't then definitely go back and check that out because you won't want to miss those and today's video is going to be another good one we're going to be getting into some swamps some muddy areas and a lot of messy stuff so hopefully we don't get too stuck and uh, we all make it out but as you can see just driving here through the little section that we already went through it's pretty dirty out there so we're definitely going to have a good time it's definitely going to be interesting and yeah, other than that, let's go get dirty. We're at our first swamp, swampy area. You can see we've got two uh, choices, this way or that way, where Jordan is standing. And he says it's about a foot deep where he is, but we don't know how soft it gets once you start actually driving through it. This one over here, yeah, it's, a foot, it's already almost a foot deep and I'm like two feet into it. Oh man, it, it's it's uh, soft. It almost yeah, took my boot. It's real soft. I wanna be the best in the game. Invest in my name. Check no restraints. I'm obsessed with the pain. I ingest, I retain, assess, and I change. Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints, money, clout, and fame. Mud disease, a plague. We all love to hate. Have to play the game. Have to make a name. All our insecurities are on this display. This is war with the enemy. Think that it was meant to be. Ah, oh, that wasn't too bad. I think we'll all make it through there. I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity is a plague. For the Here goes nothing. No mercy. All I got is working. Never stop searching. Never quench the first thing. I'm toxic and psychotic, but this logic can't stop it. Oh, that was all right. A lot worse. It looks a lot worse than it is. So that's all right for the first one. Oh man, he really cleaned it out for us in there. You don't want to go too fast. <laughs> yeah, you can crawl through. Probably. I didn't want to get stuck in it and then fucking. We're good. Ah, it's still running though. We're still good. Ah, yeah, there you go. Paper towels. You gotta always keep them in the car if you're going off roading. Last time I needed them to wipe myself up after taking a shower. <laughs> this time we needed after the engine took a bath. So uh, they definitely come in more handy than you would think. We're sending it through the deep side. It's definitely a bit deeper. Oh Def <laughs> definitely a bit deeper. So far so good with the KO2s. This thing definitely stepped its game up now that it has some proper off-road tires and yeah, let's see how far we can take it because it was pretty good before. Now that everything is thought out, it's a little bit different ball game. So hopefully the tires actually kind of help him out.
man, I drove ahead for two seconds. And I'm like, where are these guys? They've been gone for a while. And I come back here to this. Jeez. What are you gonna do? You gonna send her through or what? I'm gonna fucking go right. Is this connected? Yeah, yeah. Well, I got it out. That's the important part. I was wondering, I'm like, I haven't seen these guys in a couple minutes. They should be right behind me. <laughs> I wish I just got that mud hole on film for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah! But uh, you can see for yourself, it wasn't too crazy, just a nice long mud hole. And honestly, not too bad today. So far, everybody's been doing really well. We haven't hit anything too nuts. So uh, let's keep going and let's see exactly what we can find out here. Definitely gave the Jeep a good spa treatment today though. As you guys can see there, we found a pretty substantial swamp. Uh, they're out in the middle of the swamp right there waving to us if you can see them. And I've got the drone here. That's the footage you just saw. There's them. There's the Jeep. And we're sending in the JK to go get them. Uh, yeah, let, uh, let's just say it's a little bit nuts and that thing is deep. So unfortunately, I won't be able to get you guys too much footage with the camera, so there might not be any audio. I might have to throw some music on it because the drone doesn't collect audio. So let me see exactly uh, what happens here and let's get them out.
I think I, I gotta go save them both now because <laughs> uh, as you guys just saw he's stuck in the water too he didn't even make it half as far well he made it exactly half as far um, yeah let's uh, let's at least walk down there and see exactly what's happening and yeah if worse comes to worst then we're gonna go swimming <laughs> oh shit. not much but yeah he's definitely in there so where we're at right now is the TJ doesn't want to start it won't turn over or anything because the entire engine is underwater the entire hood is underwater so we're doing our best to pull it with the JK but it's sliding like hell We gotta get there so we can actually get you guys some more footage. Wish me luck. Oh, fuck me, I made it. Just barely. You have rubber boots for a reason and a change of clothes. Yeah, I'm still not going in there. Close your ass, bitch. I'll drive your Jeep through. Yeah, I'll drive your Jeep through the second time, no problem. Three wheels and all. So I'll drive that through too. I'll drive the SRT, the everything. Big bird to the rescue. I wanted to stop here so I wasn't all in like the soft stuff so I don't get pulled in. But we just made it. We've still got about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So twice what we need. 7 is the least that you should go to. Or at least that's what it said when I bought my winch. That's what this one is recommended. Don't go any lower than seven wraps on the drum. So we're pretty much almost at the limit there. And you can see we've just reached them right now, just over there. So I'm just gonna hold the brakes, even though I have a chalk right there, just because we're on a pretty good slope right here. I don't wanna roll away. So getting him out of here is only half the battle, guys. If you guys remember at the beginning of the video, he did come on a trailer, so that's okay. He can get himself home. But there's a big dirty mud hole on the way out of here and if you have no rear axle shaft that means you have no rear no rear drive um, it's gonna be very hard to pull him through that mud hole because we can barely make it through one at a time and with a anchor basically tied to you it's gonna be that much harder so uh, yeah that's gonna get interesting in a minute so he's partially out we got him out enough that we're gonna back in with the red one and then just give him a yank with a strap 
because uh, at this point we're not really doing too much, just kind of pulling ourselves into the swamp. Well, we crashed the shit out of the drone again. We broke, looks like two propellers out of the four, not too bad. But the problem is, there was water inside where the battery sits and the button to turn on the drone is on the battery. And it doesn't want to turn off the battery now that it's out. So I just hope that this doesn't explode or catch fire. I'm not an expert on this type of shit. But let's put this right here just for now, just so that uh, if something does happen, it doesn't blow up my Jeep. I'm gonna hopefully remember that, but let's go back down and see where they are with the two Jeeps. So as I was just walking down here, I heard that they started the TJ, so that's good. That means that whatever water was in there kind of drained out, and I think it was just uh, the starter that was underwater, so we didn't want to turn over, but let's get back to the action. That's a good sign. She's running. And you guys should remember, he's actually missing an axle on one side because the axle shaft snapped. So he doesn't actually have rear wheel drive at the moment. And yeah, it's going to be a challenge to get it out. So wish us luck. <laughs> Smells like a boat. Well guys, say goodbye to the swamp because uh, I don't think anybody else is going in today. That doesn't mean we're not going in next week, <laughs> but uh, I think that's it for today because uh, we got to get this thing off the trail and that's going to be a little bit of work just in that. <laughs> Another axle shot. I bet if you do that, we shake the back end a bit. Oh, yeah. you know what? if you turn all the way right and yeah, go yeah. forward. No, no, what if we flex the suspension ready, ready. back and forth? That's how it's done, boys. A little shaky, shaky, and she goes right back in. <laughs> Funny, fucking. I kept pumping the clutch and the key, and somehow it sparks. And it's fucking... <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's a little wet. I'm wet, she's well, wet, the Jeep's wet, everybody's wet. The rubber boots, they did good, but uh, it was a little deeper than they were tall. So uh, I think uh, it's time to maybe get some waders or something, because it seems like we're not getting away from the swamping anytime soon. 
But if you guys enjoy this video, trust me, there's more for you. There's tons more footage coming your way. So jump down there, hit that like button, and we're not done yet. The seats got a free wash. The carpet got uh, moisturized. And no check engine lights. That's it. Things a beast. Second motor that's <laughs> The radio still worked. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Wednesday motor. Yeah, it's in the first day. <laughs> so you're not going to talk about the rail. Yes. Can I give it a little gas in here? <laughs> hey, can you give it a little gas? Yeah. <laughs> Foot's like half in the water on the gas pedal. Just keep her at us Down my whole dip right here. Yeah. Right. Mine's getting hot too. Started to overheat and boil out all the coolant. The coolant's kind of dripping down the side of the engine there. Where's so we're gonna let it cool off for a second. This one is also overheating. And if you guys are wondering why they're overheating, it's because the rads are plugged with mud. So now we're gonna do our best to maybe throw a ratchet strap around this and keep it in, but uh we don't have too much further to go. It's just this mud hole, one more mud hole, and then just past that tower is the way out. You know, or else not gonna, if the wheel does come out, we're gonna have a bitch put it back in. Yeah, that's the main thing. I'm not <laughs> letting it come out. Yeah, dude, we'll just strap it. Snap I guess three straps and perfect. Yeah, I'll grab some right now. See, it's good to be prepared. This little Jeep's got a lot of stuff packed into her, from ratchet straps to tow ropes to chains and hooks and different types of recovery gear. Because trust me, in my first days, I used to drive around stock and I used to go through all kinds of trails and I used to get all kinds of stuck. So now it's my turn to repay the favor and I carry all the recovery gear. You know, it's funny, I bought those straps to actually carry things on the Jeep, on the roof or on the back or just to tie things down. To this day, every single time I've used these straps, it's either when I broke my axle, when you broke your axle, or when somebody else broke something on their Jeep, they still have one of my straps. So, uh, good thing that we have these ratchet straps, they actually saved the day. There you have it guys, one fixed axle shaft. He's ready to go for the rest of the season. Perfect, dude. Once it gets a little muddy? Yeah, it'll slide nice.
this was the little mud hole. <laughs> the big one is still ahead of us, so uh, could still be pretty interesting. snowy a little snowy a little raining a little raining mud but uh we made it through i love these super swampers guys honestly if you're looking for some off-road tires i keep telling you but uh i'm gonna keep saying it these super swampers are amazing in the in the snow in the mud the only thing that i will not recommend them for is wet rock if you're out in the rain and you're climbing rocks you're doing any kind of rock crawling they're not the best but if it's dry or if it's muddy you're good to go a little late to the party to catch the TJ going through but the TJ made it out pretty easily the JK though not the same Looks like it's our turn. Can you back up at all? No, Shit. We'll have to winch you out. I'm back in. And I'll get a run going out. Well, I gotta get to the other side to pull him out for that one. So, uh, time for us to send it. So even with the wheel chalk, my wheels are so covered in mud that it's just pulling me right into the ditch or back into the trail. And unfortunately, that's not where we want to be. So I think we're going to have to tie off something or figure something out to keep the Jeep from moving. But uh, yeah, it is a mess out here.
Well, it looks like that worked. So we hooked my Jeep to the JK and then we used the strap to extend the winch and we actually got him out. Or we're getting him out as we speak. All right, only one left. We've got that one, which actually he was being a good guy and going back in to help out the CRV. He was already out, but we'll get him out. I think it might be rocks. Yeah. The winch definitely doesn't sound healthy right now. Uh, I'm hoping it's just mud somewhere because uh, this doesn't sound great. But that's why you get warranty. I still got a year left on the warranty and might have to use it. think that's about it uh, we're now gonna go get the truck put that thing on the trailer and pack up clean up and get home because it has been a crazy day it's been a long day and uh, I think we're all hungry and tired <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching thank you guys for coming out definitely jump down there hit that subscribe button hit that like button because there's tons more coming and we're just getting started guys <laughs> if you guys like off-roading and just having fun with vehicles then trust me we've got more content coming your way hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one so until then guys ride safe out there peace Bye.